There's always been this thing around movie premieres where the stars will make handprints in wet cement. I made a and balls print by actually burying my and balls in wet cement, which I don't think had ever happened before. But I wanted to be the number one train wreck, darn it. So I made sure that I was documented peeing on red carpets, smoking weed everywhere, pouring beer all over paparazzi. Fucking snorted the motherfuckers blood, dude. But he was like, like, it's a bit fun. I had to tell you, it came up HIV positive. Dude. Gosh dang darn it, I pulled it off. The organisms we're looking at today are in a void lands ecosystem, consisting of an empty void filled with floating land masses and smaller islands. Even when not connected to a planet or other contained ecosystem, these floating land masses somehow maintain gravity in a thick, soupy, moisture filled atmosphere in a way that still baffles researchers. This may remind you of the movie Avatar, and that's because James Cameron is actually from a void land ecosystem and based it on his childhood home. These voids are filled with microprotists, bacteria, more other analogous life forms, and detritus from higher land masses. Like the deep ocean, this biological material is the backbone of most Voidlands ecosystems. Everything in this environment can trace its survival back to poop and shredded corpses, just like you. This entity is called the Googlepede. It's an arthropod-like creature shaped similarly to a centipede. The Googlepede is a grower, not a shower, as it can generate and retract additional body segments and limbs at will. As they add more segments, each individual segment gets slightly thinner and weighs a bit less each time, meaning that the Googlepede may just be redistributing its incredibly dense body mass into more volume. Newly hatched googlepeds are around 6 meters long when expanded, and 1 meter when unexpanded. They have infinite genetic growth potential, so the googlepede truly lives up to its name. A google is a huge number by the way, but yes, it's also sponsored by that google. I guess technically it should be called an infinipede, but like, whatever, fuck you man, human scientists suck at naming things too. The googlepeds use the segment generation ability to bridge the gap between Voidlands islands and similar structures with ease. These arthropods are bioluminescent, and can be seen as they span in between the floating land masses of the Voidlands. Humans remark that they look like glowing tension wires on bridges before I throw them into the void. The googlepeds hunt by completely encasing its victims, making an egg-shaped airtight seal by locking its legs together, suffocating them, and then secreting a digestive enzyme to break down the corpse. The resulting slurry is then reabsorbed through the permeable membrane on its underside. The googlepeds are the main food source for the apex species of this ecosystem, the arachnosapiens. Arachnosapiens are ten-limbed arthropod creatures that stand and walk upright, with two limbs used as arms. They have eight eyes and the typical spidery face foobles. I like to call them the spider people. Even though I call them this, and despite having spinnerets, they are more closely related to the whip scorpion. It's wildly inaccurate, I'm not gonna stop doing it, and because I'm the first to categorize them, it'll stick. The fact that arthropods are so widely dispersed in so many different planetary systems and even dimensions suggests that they are one of the oldest and most adaptable species. I know, weird, right? You're just gonna keep finding out that you're not the center of the universe. Although these creatures are as intelligent as humans, like humans, their culture and biology results in them having some really strange behavior. I don't think I ever could have even have sex with a with a hooker without like snuggling after. I want to like snu snuggle <laughs> and stuff, you know. I like oh, no, to stay with me. I want to like right. you know cuddle and stuff. And in the morning, this this hooker um she just t tells me like how much how much I owe her. And I'm like that's fucking outrageous. There's no fucking way. I was like I was like basically I don't care if your fucking pimp wants to kick my ass and fuck kill me. I'm not paying that. Fuck. Much. Since cannibalism is very common in the arthropod world, this has persisted even to the level of sapience that the spider people enjoy today. They also commonly consume most of their food as living prey. Even though they don't always consume living creatures as food, they have a seemingly universal biological and culturally reinforced practice of wrapping everything they consume in their own webbing. This has resulted in them basically pulling their own homemade tortilla out of their ass every time they wanted a meal. These creatures live in a similar way to the human Mormon subsection, in which members of these species have multiple partners. They also very commonly eat their partners, so it's kind of basically like an orgy and Russian roulette at the same time. Honestly, this I mean, like, if you're an adrenaline junk, I, 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 fuck, sign me up, dude. So, uh, yeah, subscribe and watch all my other uh, crap, or I'll kill you or something. If you want me to explain how I know any of this or anything else, I probably won't, but feel free to probe in the comments, because, uh, you, you wanna. Oh, yeah, who I?